ice cream alert 654 Jose. Okay, on nothing. Welcome to Third and Eight here on Next Door Radio, brought to you by Vanco Outdoor Power Equipment. Let's get the show started with your hosts, Brandon Adcock and Jason Varner. Whew. Hey guys, welcome back here to Third and Eight on Next Door Radio. Next Door Radio, what? Dot com. Dot com. Da, 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 da. I got a question. Hey, my co-host is back this week. Fire away, Hi! man. Yeah, there's I do no have mo- a question. Fire away. What you got, Elroy? Can somebody call Peyton up and ask him what the hell Jose means? Who? Jose. Oh, oh yeah, doing the intro? Yeah. I don't know. Good question. I mean, it's definitely an audible of some sort. Um, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, hey, what you're not going to do is question my grandfather. I just, I, <laughs> I did, I'm just asking what does yeah, it mean. fair enough. Fair enough. I've always wanted to. Jose, 654, Jose. On nothing. On nothing. Who? Who? Yeah. What's, what's Jose <laughs> got to do with it? He's going to be like, no way, Jose. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Could you break that down for us? Yeah, yeah. I Dude, I will, that is not the question I would ask him if I had a, you know, the opportunity. You know, what I'm trying to talk to Peyton Manning. I don't believe I can open my mouth. I have enough hard time, you know, you know, hard time speaking. I think he's the one person I could not talk to. <laughs> I got to pee. Yeah, I'd be like, take my panties. No, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But I'd be uh, like, look at that forehead. Look at me in it. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I could probably scan it up and down, but. I like Pate. I do too, man. He's, He's a good grandpa. guy. He's second only behind Tom Brady. I kill you and murder your dog. Anyway, this week, on <laughs> Chris and Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm just still playing. playing. Yeah, just... fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No, I wouldn't do that to nobody, especially nobody's dogs. Anyway, mm. um, hey, this week on the show is the AFC East, and I have waited for. I saved two <laughs> specific shows for Jason last week. He bailed out on me on the Kirk show. Sorry. This week he's back home, baby. It's two a time, but you know that's not where we're starting. Can we rewind and talk about the Kirk show for a minute? Yes, at the very end of the show. Promise okay. you, deal. All right, deal. deal. I okay. like because I didn't get to talk about my boy. I know, I know. Cue the music. Yeah, he played it and everything. But uh, <sighs> yeah, I think how this is going to break down is going to be, the, you know, what I'm saying that the Jets in dead last. And as our, you know, a collective show team, how they got the most expensive offense in the NFL this year? No, that's the Lions. Oh yeah, that's the Lions. Sorry, yeah. but they're in the top ten, I think. Yeah, and that's also in the travesty because there's nobody in that offense that screams, "Oh my God, I should pay that guy a crap ton of money." I mean, I thought they Not did well in draft. Bad. Oh yeah, though the draft was great. Um, I don't know, man, how the Jets are going to do going forward. I just don't. Um, hey, Zach Wilson, all time, all time power move over the weekend. Did you hear about the Zach Wilson story over the weekend? No, what did he do? Okay, there's a whole lot of goat talk about quarterbacks, but as far as off season work, as I'm going to call it, Zach Wilson is the goat in off season work. What did he do? His girlfriend, his mm-hmm. ex girlfriend Abby something, started dating. His best friend at BYU, who's a wide receiver on y'all's team, Dak something. He's a white guy who played at BYU. Zach, in the ultimate power move, started dating homeboy's mama. Goat talk. Wait, he did Go- what? He started dating his best friend's mom, his mammy, where he came from. That's he's Is he going to make him call right, him daddy? But huh? Because that would be hilarious. <sighs> Probably. I mean, if I was Zach, I'd try to claim him on my taxes. Awesome. Buy him Christmas and everything. They just make it super embarrassing. <laughs> Is he 26 like, yet? Nope. Then yeah. I'm claiming him. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, but anyway. Yikes. Hey, go move to by Zach, man. Um, hey, Zach, props to you. bro. Anyway, Speaking of moms, though. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Wilson's mama called me. Anyway. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Chris. Have you seen Zach Wilson's mama? He I have not. Yeah, I, I'm checking it out right now. Look at it. Anyway, round one of the draft, you know what I'm saying? You know how the Jets had Sauce Gardner, although it was their DB. If he can be a half of what Daryl Revis was in New York, mm-hmm. that's big time for them. It. So, even if they finish dead last in this division. There's going to be an improvement there. there yeah, I don't know that that's a bad thing. This is a tough division. You it's, got Bill it's, Belichick. It's not bad. I'll who, say, it's not bad. I'll say that. He's going to have another good season. You got Buffalo, so well. who's Super Bowl contender. The only team that they should be able to compete with is Miami, but Miami went and upgraded. Everything. Everything. Which is going to be the year, once and for all, to decide if Dua's even a serviceable, serviceable quarterback or not, which... You know, my money's still on not, but uh, whatever. So, I, I don't know. I For some reason, I think the Jets going to finish, like, third this year. Okay, okay. I think they're going to beat Miami. I don't – honestly, I think Bill Belichick could have a, a – you know, I think Matt – um, what's the young quarterback over there's name? No, uh, Zach Wilson. Not not Zach. Uh, for the Patriots. Uh, oh, no, Mac Jones. Mac Jones, thank Sorry. you. Sorry. Mac is going into his second season. Okay. Normally, what happens in your second season? Fair enough. You have a setback year. Yeah. Nothing crazy. It's just you kind of trail off a little yeah, bit. Hit that wall People have learned you. 
Yep. They start to, you know, p- d- uh, defend you. Uh, and let's be r- for real. Mac Jones isn't like a, a an amazing athlete, doesn't have an amazing arm. He's just like a really good, you know, pro-level quarterback. Yeah, yeah, he's a serviceable pro with this Yeah. Uh, I think that they Who might fall back a little bit, fall yeah. back a little bit this year, honestly. Ah. I- you know, it, you know. Honestly, it's hard to say. I disagree with that. It could end up being just because he doesn't have an offensive coordinator. Right. It could end up. Josh being, was one of the best in the business. Who's now in L.A. Yeah. Or hey, L.V. on the Rangers. L.V. Sorry. Yeah. So Buffalo, I think, will win this division. Oh, easily. I don't think that's going to be a. But a, I can see chance. Miami or the Jets taking second. Okay. You want to start with the Patriots then, or you want to start, you know, I'm saying with the Jets? Uh, let's keep going with the Jets. Okay. I, I just, I think the Jets has to, if they want to, they can be the second place team. If they want to, that would be a tough task. Though, but if, I'm just you know saying, what I'm saying? If I look they back in November it. though, and they're like, hey, five and two. I'm like, eh, I'm not really surprised, just because of how well that they did in the draft. You know, yeah. you know, hey, drafted Garrett Wilson, drafted Sauce Garner. You know, hey, drafted Johnson. Those are all three day one. Two, two good years of draft picks, yeah. I think. Back-to-back back years. With yeah. a good new coach, well, you know, second-year coach, great. I Johnson think, on the edge, Gary yeah. Wilson, where I was Dude, sitting, Sauce Garner at DB. I think, and they got a good quarterback. Zach and Brees Hall at running back. Him and Michael Carter and Zach Wilson, Yeah, that's not a terrible backfield going no, forward in New York. No, I'm telling this you. Been, I'm not going to say the only time in my life I've ever had any optimism on the Jets, but Jesus Christ, it's one of the two or three. I feel like it's going to be very college-esque offense with a lot of run and gun stuff, a lot of air raid stuff coming from the Jets this year. It's what I, I foresee. Okay. Um, And I, if they want it, they very well could finish second. I, I mean, if Tua has an off year or, you know, he well, gets hurt or something. You mean if he, would, does, if, he, if, if he does the same thing he's done every year? I knew that was coming. I mean, if he just, you know. Yeah, the Jets got here's a really the good backup in Joe Flacco, who hopefully can kind of help Zach Wilson kind of just grow and mature, I reckon. Yeah, he had one great year. That, on boy, that was a magnificent run. Boy, he took us out in the first round and Peyton in the second. It was bad. Yeah. I think the defense did more than that. Oh, this goes to show you that sometimes the quarterback market can overpay. Yeah. Uh, hey, props to Flacco. He bet on himself and won. It's hard to do, especially in this league. But Flacco did that playoff run. Boy, he did it himself. 12 touchdowns, zero picks, or some crazy stat yeah. like that. and won three or four games. But he didn't have to do much with that defense. I'm just saying. Yeah. All I'm saying is, look, if the Jets want it this year, they can foreseeably be in second place. Doesn't mean they will. Okay. I'm not predicting that. I'm saying I think the Patriots will fall off a little bit. I don't think even with the upgrades, Miami's going to be what everybody thinks they're going to be because they still have the one position that they absolutely need unfilled. And if the Jets want it, I I just could see, I could see them at the end of this year being second place in this division, making the playoffs. I mean, I wouldn't hate it to be honest. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Jets, well, I ain't going to say the Giants, you know what I'm saying? The Giants have won a couple of Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? The Jets and the Browns have been so bad my entire lifetime. I want to see them actually win. I'm going to be real with you, dude. I mean, the Buffalo Bills are one injury away from being they are, a no, no, they're a not no one injury. They're yeah. a Josh Allen uh, injury yeah. in particular. Yeah, away from, from being, being a, a, no, a, no, a no team again. But just like Tampa and Tom, you know what I'm saying? The Chiefs and Pat. It's a lot of those at one time. The, at one time, Pat could probably went down. And the Chiefs would still been all right. You got Andy Reid. You got a bunch of offensive weapons. You got They've decent lost defense. Them. But that has changed now. You're right. Yeah. I just think at the end of this season, Jets statistically have a good shot at being second place. But if something crazy happened, like Josh Allen goes down, they could win this division. Don't but that's say a that. bunch of what ifs. Yeah. <laughs> like, if but I butts can, were candy and nuts. Yeah. If my yeah. If my aunt so, had balls, she'd be my uncle. Right. I love that. We need to put that on a shirt. I think we did. We yeah. We did. Check it yeah. out. Check out our website. Buy that shirt. So um yeah. Now Jets could foreseeably be second place. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me. Tell us why on our Facebook page. Moving on. Who are we talking about next? Who's gonna finish third? You know. Oh, God, I butchered that word third. Hey, who's gonna finish third? Actually, first real quick, Chris. Jet schedule. Have you got it on tap real fast? Oh, I don't, but I can pull it up here real quick. Okay, the real because I'm gonna say, but these th- those three teams: Jets, Patriots, and Miami. That's gonna be a muddled. That's gonna be a muddled mess. Yes. I agree. It's gonna be the Bills and everybody yeah, else. Everybody else. That's gonna be a, in my opinion, a muddled mess. From ten wins to seven, I think all you know, hey, all three of these teams are gonna have 
I wish Josh Allen would get like a bad case of gas and have to set out like eight games. <laughs> nothing Jeez. dramatic. Yeah, nothing eight dramatic. Games just for gas. Not almighty. <laughs> just oh, I don't know. If you would, had gas pain, if I had it for eight weeks, I'd have a problem. See what I'm saying? And, Facts, and then let's just see what happens. <laughs> All right. All number the Jets got some cooking though. With you know Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis. I'm telling Braxton you, man. Barrios is back. Like on the roster, on paper, <sighs> them boys look good. Yeah, I gotta agree. Well, let's see how they look against other folks. And I, I particularly like that color this year. Just saying. Week one, they are at home versus the Ravens. Mm. Brandon, you going to keep up with these? I think they're going to win. One second, Chris. I can't. All right, Brandon got a loss. You got to win. All right, we're going to give Brandon a second to pull up his uh, his handy-dandy software there where he can take notes. Lamar doesn't even know if he wants it wanted anymore in Baltimore. Wow. What's that got to do for a quarterback's mindset? Speaking of quarterback mindsets, you see the video from Taylor Heineke earlier today? Isn't he a great one? He is. I love that guy. Shining star, that one. He's amazing. Hey, and you know what I learned from that video? He makes $2 million a year. <laughs> makes $2 million a year. <laughs> and you know what? He's the type of football player every coach wants on their team. Far away. All right, so week one, they got the Ravens and Jets. Uh, Brandon, you have them losing. Jason has them winning. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to say they're going to pull that one out like 35 to 17. Week two, Jets at Browns. Jets win. Jets win. All right. Week three, Bengals at Jets. Uh, B- uh, Bengals win that one. Yeah, unfortunately. Win that one. Unfortunately? What do you mean unfortunately? I mean, I'd love to see the Cinderella team go undefeated, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, I like the Bengals. So. All right. <laughs> uh, Jets at Steelers. Uh, ooh. Uh, I, th- I think the Steelers probably win this one. I'll take the, yeah, the Jets to lose that game as well. Sorry. Then they are, let's see here, they are at home versus. Taco de la Oye, but oh, yeah, they win in that game. <laughs> Jets win in that game. <laughs> and they might put, they, by that point, to it probably going to be 0-5, and, and he'll be on the bench. He won't now, be 0-5. Now, wait a minute. Are you saying Owen's going to live on for the, the Dolphins? It's here? not going to be the Dolphins. Okay. Yeah, they got too much firepower for that to happen. All right. Uh, the following week, Jets at Packers. Loss. I think they're going to win. Wow. Jason's super uh, yeah, uh, optimistic he? about the NY. I mean, Jeez. it's just, hey, all they got to beat is Rodgers up there because he's all they all they got. Yeah, the, all they got to beat is, you know what I'm saying, it was the four-time MVP. No worries. <laughs> no worries, big dog. A three-time MVP or whatever it is at this point. Just saying. Right. Jets at Broncos. That's going to be a fat L. I, I, I'll take the Jets. Screw the Broncos. Screw, this, this screw Russ Wilson. Screw the Broncos. This is a heck of a hot take. All right, Patriots at Jets. Jets. Uh, they're at the Jets. They're I'll take the Jets. Jets as well. All right. Bills at Jets. And if Jason, if you say the Jets are going to win this one, I'll know that you've been drinking. Fat L. LL Cool J. He's having to think about it. Look at him. I love Jason's preseason optimism about bad Dude, teams. it's the Bills it's, at Jets. I'll take the Jets. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, will you hit my Stephen A. Smith sound? He's got the Jets on a five-game winning streak. Uh, you're going to have to remind me which one that you're is. Smoking there's there's crack. a couple, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it this is, one here? You're smoking crack. That's the one. Stop. Follow Call me. Right, follow Call that right me. up with uh, the hot take one. All right, so that was Bills at Jets. Following up, they are at Jets at Pats. I think the Pats will win the second time. Bill Belichick will not fall to the same team twice in the same season if he can I, help it. Uh, hold on. He had him losing that game. I'll have it winning that game. <laughs> See, y'all got him flipped. All right. Mm-hmm. It could be. I mean, either way. It's I just a don't think. game. You yeah. never know. Bears at Jets. Uh, Jets. Jets are taking that game. Bears are going to be trash. I discussed this last week on the show. The Bears are going to be probably they're picking top three this year in the draft. And that is November 27th, which I believe to be Thanksgiving Day. No, that is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is uh, 24th this year. So Okay, there, gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah. All right, Jets at Vikings. Vikings swing that game. Yeah, I was about to say, do yeah. it, Jason. Go ahead. Nah, they ain't that good. Yeah, I'll take the Vikes. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Brandon, just for your reference, that's a 1 p.m. game. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Vikings all day. <laughs> Vikings Jets, all day. <laughs> Jets at Bills. <laughs> the Bills win the second one. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody in this team, outside of maybe the Bills winning against a team twice, but I don't think they'll beat anybody twice. Uh-huh. All right. Lions at Jets. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is mine and your show team versus everybody's show team. Yeah. This is going to be the battle of the bad. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be the battle of bad this year. I really don't. Hey, I had the Lions winning 10 games last week. I have the Lions winning this game. I'll take the Lions as well. That's going to be a heck of a game. That's going to be a fun game to watch. It should though. be. That's December 18th. Go Lions. Who's wondering. 
All right, Jaguars at Jets, December 22nd, Jets. 8, 15 p.m. I don't give a damn if it was 10, 20 a.m. in, the <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. Mm, Trevor Lawrence going to win that game. Ooh, do you got the Jaguars losing that – or the Jets losing that game? All righty. Yeah, Sorry, Chris. Jets losing that one. He's got – okay. Nothing. All right, Jets at Seahawks. This is Jets. the first Jets are going to win that game. Jets. All right. Yeah. And finally, Jets at Dolphins, January 8th. Uh, do I give the Dolphins this game? Jets. Okay, so so what's he got total? If my mathematical, or the mathematical calculator is correct, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got what the Jets winning ten games this year. Good just like, lord! Just like I had the Lions winning ten last week. You know what I'm saying? Though some of these bad teams have got to win at a certain point. See, he's and if it's not this year, ten. yeah, he's giving them ten, and I've got them winning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And honestly, before that, I I was thinking somewhere between eight and ten wins. I said, you know, had this whole mass here on the left hand side of the screen in the Patriots. Well, yes, yeah, our left, y'all's right, or whatever. That's going to be a muddled mess. I really believe it's just going to be the Bills and whoever just decides to play well on Sunday. Yeah, maybe. I mean, There's I, not a big gap in these rosters, in my opinion. At the wide receiver spot, it's a massive gap in these rosters. It's pretty much the Dolphins and then. Everybody else, in my opinion. But the offense has a great wide receiver recording, yet unless they're going to put the ball machine out there. He said the ball machine. God, <laughs> dog. <laughs> so, right. Anyway. So before we go to break, who would you bring back from this team? Joe Namath. Because he's the greatest general. Honestly, Chad Pennington prior to his injury. You know what? Hey, people sleep on how good that Chad Pennington was. was. Chad Pennington was never bro. like Pat Mahomes, yeah. but he was Mr. Consistency week in and week out for the New York Jets. Until he got hurt, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I would bring Chad. I would bring Chad back. Although Joe Namath was a great choice. Yeah, man. I mean, seems to be the obvious. Like, yeah. I think every one of these is an obvious choice, mm-hmm. in my opinion, and all four of them are quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Fire away, Jason. Carry us out. Who, hey, who's Thank, up next? Hey, Patriots or Dolphins, real quick. Let's go, Patriots. All right. Thank enough. you, Van Gogh Outdoor Power Equipment, for sponsoring this off third night here on Next Door Radio and NextDoorRadio.com. Thank you to all of our other sponsors as well. We appreciate you guys and what you do. And also, don't forget to uh, check out our website at uh, thirdnate.com. Sorry, it's been a week, folks. I was on vacation. Mm-hmm. For all the new merch we got outside, including that shirt that says, if you ain't had balls, you'd be your uncle. We'll see you when we get back. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Chris. I was over here daydreaming about Slacking. our burger. I can smell it in the room. I know it's coming later. Anyway, <laughs> I guess it's you know hey, New England Patriots time, man. And I uh, hey, you want to get this like out of the way real quick? Huh? If you had one player to bring back for the Patriots, who would it be? <laughs> what? If you had one player to bring back off the Patriots, who would it be? <laughs> uh, Tom Brady. Okay, well now that that's out of the way, that is the only <laughs> the legitimate answer. That and prime Randy Moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, because you're in agreement then. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay, that's a shame. I'm dumb. The, my only, you know, hey, my hatred only goes so far. He he only won them what six? Yeah. What a slouch. Yeah. <laughs> what a slouch ass Tom. He was holding Sorry. back. <laughs> yeah, he was holding Bill Belichick back. <laughs> Obviously, it's Wes Welker. Yeah, I mean, it was Wes Welker, Gronk, and Edelman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he did have anyway. some. Anyway, has some good old boys there, man. It's like hey, every. Well, never mind. Is Gronk what? fully retired? Did he? He said he was retiring. Look, here's the deal. I think Gronk, nobody told him about Brady. <laughs> Gronk don't want to go through training camp. Gronk don't want to go through right. ATA. Uh, mm. uh, you know, hey, OTAs. Gronk is going to wait until it's not hot as balls outside to In play Tampa football. Bay, right. And Gronk's going to come back about, i say, the end of October. Yeah. All of October. When they're about to hit their playoff run. Yeah, hey, you're going to see him on the sidelines over the grease gun. Pouring grease into his kneecaps <laughs> and uncreaking his back doing stretches, and Gronk's going to come out in the playoff game and have like eight catches though for a buck sixty-five and two touchdowns. If Jesus. he only had a heart, you can book it. I'm telling you, Gronk. Tell me, Gronk ain't Herman Monster, cuz. Uh, well, I could tell you this. There's a reason that Herman Monster was smiling all the time. That wife. Anyway, you want to talk? No, my. No trucks arrive. Call me Wednesday. Go ahead. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, uh, you know, you want to talk about quarterbacks and wide receivers on the Patriots. I don't think that Mac Jones and Devontae Parker and Tyreek Thornton out of uh, the Baylor is going to really stack up to uh, Tom, Wes, Julian, and Randy. But, hey, what I will say is, is he doesn't even have a play caller right now. Um, oh, what's the old boy's name? Who was the head coach on the lines? Uh, he always kept the pencil in his ear. Uh, the Matt to Patricia. He's oh, yeah. going to be calling plays this year. He was the defensive coordinator calling offensive plays now. I'm no football expert. That just does not seem like a recipe for a whole lot of football wins. Um, I could be dead wrong on that. I, I think, think it's. I think it would be cool. I listen. By I way. think that offensive coordinators who understand how defenses work and their inner, the, I mean, their I inner parts that he, and stuff. He it, sees it. It's effective. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I, I think that. it could be you know and vice versa too. Yeah. Fair enough. Vice versa too. So maybe maybe I didn't think he did a great job calling plays and. Detroit. Detroit. No, it did not. That's, that's my only fired. thing with it. I just um, because no. there is an art to calling offensive plays. It is. Um, and not to say there's not an art to calling defensive plays either. So, I just, mm, I don't know. I, I think they'll be a solid team. They're going to be above 500. I think. I think they're going to be well. You know, eight and nine. So I guess not above 500. Eight and nine, nine and eight. I think they're going to be right in there. It's going to be a tough battle for that second place spot. Yeah. Um, and I will never count out Bill Belichick because we all know, regardless of who's calling the plays on paper. He got to the playoffs last year. It's Bill Belichick. And people just don't really have a look at that roster. Like, he had no number one wide receiver last year. He you does, can argue right now he doesn't have another one. He's going to have to win another Super Bowl without Tom. He's going to have to. Or, it, or you know, that argument's over. Luckily for him, yeah. is he can coach 10 more years. Tom right. can only play hell probably 10, 10 more, more years. years. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, Chris. Mark it again. It's a tough segment for you. Uh, it's the um, truth. But he doesn't – I mean, he made a you know, playoff start with a rookie quarterback. And people, you know, what's going to forget, in the prior year, he had Cam Newton who was out with COVID and a mirage of quarterbacks who just weren't any good and still almost went 500. Yeah. That speaks a little bit to just how great he is as far, you know what I'm saying, as a head coach, in my opinion, anyway. In the NFL, bro. Yeah. yeah. The NFL. So, on paper, yeah, this is the last place team. Fair but, enough. But you don't – the Bill Belichick, you know, factor. Who would you rather have going forward, yeah. Mac Jones or Zach Wilson? I think it's an easy answer. Look, I don't know because I haven't seen enough from Zach Wilson. I think, strictly speaking of pro-typical quarterbacks, Mac Jones fits. Yeah. Checks all the boxes. But, as we all see, there is something to be said about a dynamic quarterback. And I think Zach Wilson, more so than like a Lamar Jackson, fits the bill of the future dynamic quarterback in that, yes, he's got legs. Yeah. Oh, no. The he's ultimate really build of dynamic good. quarterback is Josh he's Allen. He's in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like the Josh Allen, the Trevor Lawrence, those type guys, Pat, that yeah. build, Pat Mahomes, yeah, that build, Justin Herbert, um, old boy from Cincinnati, Joe Burrow, the, that build is the build you want. Um, now, Mac Jones has that size. He just doesn't have that athletic ability. Yeah. Um. And there's not to take anything away. You don't need that in like a in traditional air raid. You, yeah. know, you don't need that. You know. But Man, most I, great quarterbacks aren't athletic. Yeah. I, but I think there's something to be said about Zach oh, Wilson who can throw the ball well and can move. I really do. I, yeah. I I think that. And what what do we know in New York? I believe New York wants him. Yeah. That's more than can be said than Lamar Jackson in Baltimore right now. That's a tough call. That's a tough call, boy. Hey, Baltimore's gonna be crazy. He be, stupid. If he hits the I open know market, I pick on him for being a running back. But, dude, dude he, y'all are dumb if y'all don't re-sign my boy. Pay him! If he <laughs> hits the open market, he is going to break every Hamonite record ever held by NFL quarterbacks. Yeah. And, I mean, he is going to shatter. You can put the bank on this. He'll if Jackson hits end the up. free agent market, somebody is going to back the Brinks truck up. Because, don't forget, Watson just broke every record, and they don't know if he's going to play. Jackson is – he's he's had no issues. He's, he's not as MVP. good as Watson, though. I'm going to be real with you. He's not as but good a quarterback as Washington. He's also not, you know, he followed in masseuse and whatnot, so he didn't have that hanging over his I head. I will tell you this, though. Allegedly. Where do you think Jackson will go if he had the open market? Take a break <sighs> from this for a second. Jesus, sweet mother of Christ. I think if I was the Seahawks or the Falcons, yeah. I would absolutely. Atlanta would have their Mike Vick back. That's all I'm saying. I would, yeah, if I was yeah. the Seahawks now, or the Falcons. Now, that would be cool. Just because they have the two worst starting yeah. quarterbacks in football, the Marcus I, Mayor. I don't want to see him go to Seahawks. I would back up the Brinks truck yeah. and tell Lamar to get him, his mama, and five family members and stuff as much cash in boxes as you can. Give him five hands. Seattle ain't big whatever enough market. Whatever you get is your yearly salary. Seattle ain't big enough market. 
and it doesn't have the same story that yeah. Atlanta would have. Now that I would agree. be a cool. Story. You put the Lamar in Atlanta, yeah. Well, you know, since Atlanta has yeah. that five, uh, yeah, you know, his vibe and flavor off Mike Vick, yeah. You know, since the Matt that Ryan would be was, cool, dude. You know, hey, Matt Ronda was Mister Solid and Steady in yeah. Atlanta. Nothing wrong with that, no. Nah. But Jackson in the ATL, that would be nice to see. I wouldn't mind. It would be like watching Mike Vick again on the field. I, yep, I wouldn't mind seeing it in an era where Mike could Vick could have been Mike Vick instead of just oh yeah, have, he's running like that. After, I would love know. to see Mike Vick and Vince Young, who I think is the most gifted quarterback I've ever seen to be ruined by a head coach and Jeff Fisher in Tennessee. Yeah. I feel like those two guys, if they played now, would be where that man. style is, you know, helpful Insane. and not frowned upon in the game. Insane. Those two guys would be, oh, my God. Mike Vick's the man. God almighty. Anyways, going Vick. back, yeah, thank you. That was a great uh, – <sighs> Atlanta, if you could get Lamar, that would be cool. I'm just going to be real yeah. with you. Uh, and the NFC would be back on the map. Oh, for um, sure. Moving back to the Patriots, I think let's go over their schedule. Now, real uh, quick, though, they drafted Cole Strange in the first round at 29. Uh, he was a guard. Very, uh, hey, Bill Belichick drafted him. Now, for all his, you know, hey, winning, he has done a piss poor job of drafting. I'm not sure if I can say that on radio, but his drafting has been sub. Call it what you man. want, but it's all a race because he drafted my one boy at 199th, and history will forever yeah. remember it as the greatest draft pick of all time. Fair enough. Fair enough. I give you that. He did draft time at one ninety nine. So yeah. I guess you know, hey, when you do it one time, great. You you know, it doesn't matter. The rest, the rest of, of it don't matter. He did win six titles. <laughs> if you forget all the rest of yeah, it, I, you it know, don't matter. Who needs a draft? Like, yeah, I'll draft take my free agents in my one ninety ninth yeah. pick. Yeah, fair enough. He did his thing there. Anyway, hey, hit us over that Patriots schedule, Daddy. All right, mm. on week one, <clears throat> Patriots are at Dolphins. They win. I'll take Miami in this game. Hold on, Chris. I got to mark this stuff again. I, I shall wait for I you. I think so Bill Belichick got a plan. We're not man. even doing a show right now. Bill Belichick got a plan. He's played a Andy Reid. He he knows Tyreek. He know man. He knows how Edelman thinks. Nah, I'm going with the Pats. Oh, no, my computer has went honky over here. I'm, I said <laughs> went honky. Pants. I meant wonky. <laughs> I got it. I'll keep up with. It. I got it. He said the Pats. All right, were you going to use your fingers and toes? Mm-hmm. That seems right. All right, week two is going to be Patriots at Steelers. I got pass winning that one. All right, I got them uh, starting out one and one. Jason's got them starting out two and zero. I got here. All right, uh, Ravens at Pats. Ooh, <sighs> I'll take the Ravens. Yeah. No, is I it got that Pats. Of a decision? Yeah, I, I don't think the Ravens is going to be worth the crap this year. I'm sorry. We'll see. Having all uh, these guys come back healthy, though, if Lamar Jackson can, you know, have this contract stuff sorted out before the season, which I think he will by the end of August. It's going to be a scary team. Uh, I, uh, you got him starting out one or two. I got him starting out three and zero. Three and zero. I see yeah. that. All right, Patriots at Packers. Packs Loss. win. Packs win. Yeah, three and one. One and three. All right, Lions at Patriots. I got I'll the Lions it. winning. I got the Lions winning as well. Yep. Wow. Three and two, right. one and four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Patriots at Browns. Patriots. Patriots. All right. Four and two, two and four. Bears I don't know Patriots. Robert Kraft and Deshaun Washington in the same arena, boy. Y'all better keep the masseuses <laughs> at the crib. Y'all better, y'all better not be a masseuse. I'm a South Pole opening a 500 mile radius, boy. Ooh, boy, right. somebody going to jail. That was good. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, tell me. Hey, you can tell, you can you can hate it, but tell me uh, where I'm wrong. Uh, oh, got popped for it the too. headlines will write themselves that yeah. way, boy. I tell you like this. Gee. Oh. All right. So, Bears at Patriots. Uh, Patriots. Patriots. Because the Bears are gonna suck. I'll say this. Five and two, year. three and four. Patriots at Jets. Jets. Five and three. Ah, uh, yeah, Jets. Three right. and five. Colts at Patriots. Colts. Colts, five and four, three and six. Jets at Patriots. Patriots win the second time. I'm six and four. Yeah, I got to win in that game as well. Yeah, I had four and splitting the five. Uh, four and six. Sorry. You did have them splitting, but you yeah. had them splitting opposite, the opposite way. Well, that's fine. I just you, had to split them either way. That's yeah. fine. Uh, Patriots at Vikings. This is at eight twenty p.m. Bikes. So they're six and five. Where are you going? You know what I'll say. If it's Kirk Cousin in that time, it's Kirk Cousin in no time. Give me. Oh, wait a minute. I had me and you backwards here. So you got him winning. I got him taking a fat L. Oh, you got him at five and six. I got him at six and five then. All right. Wait, you got the Patriots losing? 
Yeah, I got oh, a losing. No, no I got a winning. Okay. Yeah. So the Patriots. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Because now I'm getting confused on who got what. Let's Patriots start. first the Vikings. Who's winning? I got the Vikings winning. Okay. That's why I've got my pa- pass at six and five now. You got them win. Uh, you got the Vikings losing, so you got them at five and six. The pass All five right. and six. Yeah. Okay. Now we got. I got correct. you. My bad, dog. Yeah. Now that is the Thanksgiving Day game at eight twenty. By the way, oh, that is prime time, prime time. That's why you don't think Kirk's going to win. You might want to rethink your decision. I'm not rethinking it because this is the they, year he's going to smack you in the face. They've doubled down on their Kirk Cousins <laughs> nonsense. We're going to give you a nighttime game <laughs> and a holiday, making yeah. sure he has no chance. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up. If he loses, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I know. Bills at Patriots, eight uh-huh. fifteen p.m. Bills, Fat-L. six and six. You got him at five and seven. <laughs> All right, Patriots at Cardinals. Patriots. Also 15 Boy, they playing a lot of late games right here. It's the Patriots, man. It's yeah. just the brand of stuff. Prime time, baby. Um, I got them winning against the Cardinals. I got them at 7-6. What do you got? Uh, what week is this, Chris? Uh, One of the ones at the end. Plenty of time for old boy to <laughs> so, Oh, yeah. DeAndre 17, Hopkins 16, will be 16, back. It'll be 13. Oh, yeah. The DeAndre Hopkins is going to be back, and he's going to terrorize that defense because J.C. Jackson is no longer there. They'll be by the Cardinals. So, you got them 5-8. All right. I'm at 6 and. Uh. Six and seven, and you're five and eight. Jesus. Another 820 game. Patriots at Raiders. Raiders. I'm sorry, I'm at six, seven and six. Uh, yeah, I got the Raiders, so uh, seven and seven, and you got the Raiders winning, so you're at five yep. and nine. Bengals at Patriots. Bengals. Christmas Eve. Bengals. On a four game losing Seven streak. and eight. You got them at five and ten. Jeez. Dolphins at Patriots. New <sighs> Patriots. Dolphins. So I got them at seven and nine. You got them at six and ten. And then Patriots at Bills for the final game. Bills seven and ten. You got them at six and eleven. Seven and ten. Seven, no, six and eleven. Yeah, I got them at seventeen. You got them at six and eleven. That's why, dude. The Jets can finish second. They did the Patriots zero favors with that schedule. I'm talking not even one. Well. I mean, Kirk on Thanksgiving Day at 820. But past <laughs> that, they have given the – oh, well, yeah, real quick, I promise you at the end of the show. But they more ahead, they did them no favors. Hey, coming back, man, we got a big trade. Actually, hey, let's do this say, real quick. Yeah, we, we got like six minutes if we need him. If he Fair wants enough. to go ahead and go on his little – I don't. Hey, Baker Mayfield's in Carolina now. <laughs> oh, boy. I want to talk not about this Not even the same quick. class. It's not. But Panther fans, shut the hell up, man. Jesus <sighs> Christ. Every time I turn on my Facebook – and log in on Channel 3. Y'all are complaining about, well, Baker Mayfield's no good. You know who else ain't no damn good? Sam Darnold, dog. You know who else ain't no good? Cam Newton the past six seasons. You know who else ain't no good? Hey, P.J. Walker. You know who else ain't no good? Anybody y'all had, honestly, since Cam Newton hurt himself a couple years ago. Shut up. Baker Mayfield is the only player in my lifetime here outside of, I want to say his name was Tim Anderson, who took Cleveland into the playoffs. Of course he was bad last year. Chris, hit my music. I should have had you hit it beforehand. I'm tired of these people. No pesky kids! Get off my lawn! It's time for Old Man Mondays with Brandon. Panther fans, yes, the hometown fans. Y'all are the most ungrateful people I've ever seen in my godforsaken life. Don't y'all had one good season in my lifetime. Not even two, just one. <laughs> and y'all have piggybacked off that season for the past almost decade. And blame everybody. And blame everybody. Yeah. Well, you can't blame the owner. You can't blame the coach. At some point, it's just who y'all are as an organization to stake it up. You've never had back-to-back winning seasons as far as I'm concerned. Chris pulled the record on that. I could be wrong. If so, it ain't been lately. Anyway, Baker Mayfield is going to be an improvement over Sam Darnold just because Sam Darnold is so godforsaken bad. Didn't they win bad. three back-to-back or one? Three back yeah. back. yeah. Yeah, they won a bunch of um, had division titles, though, yeah. but two of those seasons were 79 because everybody true. else was so god awful. That's true. You win a division title going under 500, it shouldn't even count. That should count as a loss. Hey, they should boot y'all at the playoffs and stick somebody else in. Yeah, y'all's team, yeah, too. Anyway, that. well, of course you don't. You're a Washington <laughs> fan. But you know what I'm saying? Panther fans, look at Baker Mayfield as an upgrade over Sam Darnold. Here's why, though, if you got him in it, guess what? I don't care if you do or not. I'm going to give it to you. Fire away, Crystal. What you got real quick? All right. According to our good friends at Wikipedia, okay. the Panthers have never had back-to-back winning seasons, but recorded their first back-to-back playoff season in 2013 and 14. And what was their record? Becoming the first team in the history of NFC South to win consecutive division titles in the process. Yeah. Uh, what, what was your question? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't remember. What okay. was the Y'all record? Have never had back-to-back winning seasons. And quite frankly, lately, you've had a crap ton of losing seasons. Baker Mayfield is an upgrade over Sam Darnold. Doing Baker hit uh, Cleveland, they were 1-31 and the past two seasons, prior two seasons. 1-and-what? 
31. <laughs> they lost 31 games out of a possible 32 damn games in two seasons. And this man in two years took them to the playoffs. You mean to tell me that that's not an upgrade over Sam Donner who's still seeing Ghost? <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> now, I'm not saying Baker Mayfield's, you know, prime Cam Newton or prime Brett Favre or prime Tom Brady. I'm not even saying Baker Mayfield is a top 10 quarterback. But with healthy, Baker Mayfield is every bit of a top 16 quarterback. <clears throat> I'm down over here. <laughs> and which is better than you guys have had in the past seven years. So shut up. And you got him for a fifth-round pick. If somebody told me in 20 years, hey, the Colts are going to get a former first-round pick in the draft who was the first pick for a fifth, I don't give a crap what he done. I will take it this day. And I'm telling you, you give him a healthy Christian McCaffrey, which that's a big old if, a halfway competent, you know, hey, wide out room with Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore and a few halfway decent tight ends, you you may have something in Carolina. I have never said Baker Midfield is an all-pro quarterback. I have said consistently he's one of the better top-half quarterbacks in the league when healthy, and Carolina needs to be grateful to have somebody who wants to play in that putrid-ass organization. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm tired of Carolina Pan uh, hey, Panther fans acting like you have a history of winning in the NFL. You do not, sir. You should be grateful anybody wants to play there. When's the last time you signed a big-time free agent? I hope Baker Mayfield goes 11-6 and six this year. I hope he has a fantastic year and with all due respect Carolina I hope you guys at one point have back to back winning seasons though because football is more fun when the hometown's winning and I'm sorry Carolina you should thank God th that you don't have to sit through another season of Sam Darnold and a shell and a half of what Cam Newton used to be that is my old man Monday Jason take us out <laughs> thank you Van Cloud yeah, Power Equipment <laughs> for sponsoring this hour of Thursday night here on Next Door Radio NextDoorRadio.com when we get back we're going to start talking about the Miami Dolphins and how they too could be finishing dead last in this division. The only thing good that's ever come out of Detroit is American-made trucks and m and That's it. Bro, I'm so sick of these electric cars. I want some gas power fuel in my fuel tank. I want to mash this wah, 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 wah. Right, you can <laughs> still buy your gas guzzling vehicle all you want. Freddie said he didn't want to pull up beside you to stop like a... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Third and Day. Hey guys, welcome back here to Third and Eight, boy. Now's the time I've waited for for three weeks now. Some tour, something, another talk. Chris, hit my button. Your button? Tago from Hawaii. Oh, oh. oh I was Sorry. like, some tour yeah. talk I can get behind. I didn't know what you was talking about there. There was a time. Talking about uh, one of these here. Yeah. Tago. Tago from Hawaii. Hawaii. Anyway, the Miami Dolphins, of all the teams in the NFL this year, probably had the hugest boost in free agency. Signing Armstead out of New Orleans. He's going to play tackle. Hey, Mozart out of San Fran. You know who's going to play? Fastest running back in the NFL. And, I, on, on, and on top of that. The fastest wide receiver. The fastest wide receiver in the NFL. They got and speed. They got some speed on this team. They now. got some size. And it's not even, you know, you know, hey, Connor Williams, there was a backup guard on Dallas. He was widely regarded as their plug-and-play lineman at all five spots. Mm -hmm. He's going to start in Miami. So having a solid guard and a solid tackle, a solid wide receiver, a solid running back, a solid second, you know what I'm saying, the wide receiver in Cedric Wilson, who was really good in Dallas. And it ain't enough. That's pretty good, man. Not, and honestly, you would agree with me on this, and I hate to say this out loud. Their backup is Teddy Bridgewater. Start him. I would almost rather start Teddy Bridgewater just to find out what he can do. And Chase Edmonds is also Absolutely. there, by the way. Chase Edmonds is going to be a huge the one to No. Yeah, did Chase Edmonds, did I read that correctly? I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm... I, yeah, I'm not quite sure. No, I'm going to find it here in a second. It could be right. Yeah, Chase Evans. And so he's got a good one two punch in the backfield of Miami. Now, yes, this he does. Two has got, hey, he's got one year, dog. You give him a top five. I don't five understand why this guy's Gusecki. been able to. Hey, two good running backs and two good wide receivers and an offensive minded head coach and Mike um, Otto McDaniels. 
He got to get it together. This is it. Chris, did you hear what he just said? Yes. Hey, Mr. G's top five. I just said he was never been in the Kelsey. He's not. Mm. He's a really good tight end. I've always said that. Look, Same way about Kirk. He's not top five. He's really dang on good. I wouldn't have a problem. Top. You know what I'm saying? Now, both those guys, you know what I'm saying? They were on my team in the Colts. I'm like, I'm I, great I, with it. I'm fine I'd with it. I'd be happy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Kirk um, would look good in the dang on blue and white. Tago from Hawaii. I'm telling you what. Dude, I don't understand how this guy's got the years he's got. I don't understand how he's got all the opportunities he's had. Because anybody else goes out there and plays like that, they wouldn't have it. He also didn't have a great wide receiving core. He can never use that as an excuse again. You've got uh, Mike G, Tyreek, and Sed Wilson. Now, Sed Wilson, he was already one of the three best offensive talents on Dallas last year. He was was the second-best quarterback. Yeah. Honestly. But, Tua, man, this is it, bro. This is it. Like, this is your one shot hit Eminem style. (laughs) One shot. You've got the blow, dog. I can if, tell you what. If, if Fitz Magic even, had this team, oh, good, they would be boy, in the playoffs. Can you imagine the huck it and chuck it style? Yes. Fitz would play with Tyreek Hill fast ass. Sorry, Dude, Chris Market again. I would love, man. Can Fitz come back for one year with the Dolphins and nah, get the playing retired, time he bro. deserved? Bro retired. I'm just saying, I bring the beard, the glasses, and give him his one year. Because at that point, Miami, the whole state of Florida will be loaded with quarterbacks. No question mm. about it. I am ready to get hurt again. That's yeah. exactly <laughs> <laughs> Chris pulled that out the vault on Fitz, hey. man. Poor Fitz can't stay healthy. I bro. like Fitz. Poor Fitz can't stay healthy. I'm just saying. If my, I tell you what, if Miami had Tua Tagalova, I mean, if they do, I'm if asking Miami, what they do, so no problem. <laughs> that is the problem. Well, if, fair enough. If Miami had my boy, Damn Trevor Reno. Lawrence, oh. that'd be a whole different. Uh, you know what's worse? <sighs> Miami fans have got to be sitting at home throwing up in their mouth. I'm being honest because it could have had Justin Herbert who was taken right after Tua. <sighs> could you imagine? That is yeah. disappointing. Could you imagine Holy Justin crap, Herbert with Tyreek Hill? Mike G, Tyreek oh. Hill, Sarah Wilson, two good run- I think he would probably out- – mm, I mean, mm. he may outplay Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. I feel like Josh Allen would have a contender here because I don't think he's got one right now. If Tua can come out and play – if he's a, let's say – okay, how would you rate his season, you know what I'm saying, to be a success? Uh, How many yards? He got to go over four thousand. Got to go over four thousand yards off the for rear. two of the throw. Got to go over four. Oh, 000. he's got to have. Hey, you got seventeen games. Yeah, he got to go over four thousand. Yeah, he's got to have over twenty six touchdowns to meet. Yeah, uh, like, here, here's the, the thing. Here, hey, with the weapons, hold on. Four. With the weapons you have, bro, twenty seven touchdowns plus. Yeah. Thirteen or less interceptions. Uh, four thousand plus yards. Okay, me and you about on the same I page, mean, then, dude. North or else you yeah. gotta go. Hey, four thousand plus, twenty five plus, and under twelve. Yeah, I'm dude. Perfectly fine with you saying. You know what that is? Like every That's year a, for Kirk Cousins. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, Chris, hey, break down I, that offense schedule with us. I was gonna say, dude, I'm looking at his stats. It ain't happening, bro. It's not good, bro. I mean, his career is forty four hundred yards. <laughs> Exactly. Oh I'm trying to his tell people, bro. His career are 27. I'm trying to tell people, <laughs> hey. and then they want to get on the bandwagon of, but hell, he was. Hey, he went five and one. Hey, his team did, yeah. bro. Look, I said it the first so, year. Okay, but, okay. everybody just, laughed hold at him. I'm hold sorry. On. His whole career, is, is Dude. 44, is 4,400 yards, 27 touchdowns. You, you want real? And 15 interceptions. <laughs> That's, he got to have that one this year? season. <laughs> this is the year Do you want, uh, I'm going to be real with you. Hot take. My hair has a chance to regrow <laughs> at a higher rate than he has of getting decent stats as an NFL coach. Okay, real quick. Jesus Christ, Chris. Google to it. I did. I was looking at his stats. No, 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 no. Google his first name. Oh, is it like good guy? Yeah. It's like Corey and Topanga. Look, here's the Jesus deal. Jesus Christ. All I'm saying is. I'm not even trying that. No, I want to go all the way back oh. to the first episode of our show ever. Yeah. Third and eight. I started it about yeah. then, and I'm carrying it to now. He's right. I said it. I said it. Y'all hated on me. The world was against me. And what? The stats don't lie, bro. Hey, I'll tell you though, Tua. God. If Tua does not come through this year, Jason was right. Like he has to, he has to come through. Chris, have you got that schedule yet, real quick? Bro, if you can't get Time four thousand yards with these receivers, are hey, you gonna keep up with it again? Jeez, yeah, I got it. All right, All right so because it's not gonna be good for Miami. <laughs> All right, so week one, the Patriots are at Dolphins. Yeah, and the Dolphins lose. 
I'll, oh, you got the Dolphins winning that game. All right. Dolphins at Ravens. Uh, the Dolphins lose. Dolphins going to lose that game. Bills at Dolphins. The Dolphins lose. 0-3, oh, 1-2. and, three, one and two. Yeah. He ain't stupid. <laughs> yeah. Dolphins Bills. at Bengals. Dolphins lose. 0-4, oh, 1-3. At Dolphins this point, at uh, Tua better be getting benched. Dolphins at Jets. Dolphins lose. 0-5. Oh, I got the Jets running that one. All right. 2-3. and three. Vikings at Dolphins. This is at 1 p.m. Dolphins lose. Dolphins lose. 0-6. Oh, <laughs> Two and four. I love how Brandon's like, one second. Yeah. Uh, Steelers at Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins lose. Uh, yeah, I got, yeah, Dolphins winning that game. Oh, and six, three and three. Dol- or uh, three and four, sorry. Dolphins at Lions. Dol- Dolphins, Dolphins lose. Game. Who? Dolphins lose. Who? I got them at 0 oh and seven. Dolphins at Bears. Dolphins win Lions and Bears. Oh, my. Uh, they beat the Bears. They get their first win. Okay. When so they you bring got in their back. Oh, and six? Yeah. Oh, and seven. Oh, and seven. 0-6 uh, with the win, winning against the Bears making 1-6. Okay. Yeah, and that's when so they're I'd back. I'd like to hey. note that 0-6 uh, yeah. is when Owen is going to die for the Dolphins. Yeah, according to he's going to die for them when they play the Bears, and that's only because you can't not lose to the Bears. Yeah. And the only reason they're going to win that game is by that point, Mike McDaniels has already subbed in the backup quarterback. All right, Browns at Dolphins. Uh, I, Dolphins. The Dolphins, they get, they're going to win a streak here, two games. Texans at Dolphins. The Dolphins. Dolphins. Dolphins at 49ers. The 49ers. The 49ers. Dolphins at Chargers. Chargers. The uh, Chargers, yeah. Uh, Dolphins at Bills. The Bills. Bills. Packers at Dolphins. This Packers. Is the Packers. Day. Packers. Merry right. Christmas uh, <laughs> you know, to yeah, you. No kidding. Dolphins at Patriots. Dolphins. The Dolphins. Oh, the Patriots. Ooh. All right. Jets at Dolphins. No, I'm sorry. I had to split that. So, Dolphins. yeah. Okay, four wins. Uh, the who? Jets at Dolphins. Uh, I want to give the Jets this one. All right. All right, so what does that give you for your total? Uh, right now, I am 4-13, and 13, my brother. And that's accurate, and it's not got, Mike McDaniel's fault. Yeah, I got 7 or 8. I can't really recall. Jesus. So that's not Mike's fault. You got the Dolphins going 4-13 and 13 yeah. with that line? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, and the only reason they oh win four God. games? Dude, if I had to bet the over-under on that, I'd be betting the over-under. I'd be like, here, there's my mortgage. Take it. Dude, <laughs> the only reason they win kidding. four games is because Teddy Bridgewater comes in. Now. What I will say is if he brings him in after week three, this could change things. Sure. But so I don't think they're going to bring him in the week six. Yeah, this is assuming Tua is yeah. starting quarterback. Yeah, not happening. All right, so that brings us over to the... Yeah, well, the Bills win most. Of the, the only competition they're going to have here might be the Jets. I mean, I got... Wow. That's a strong might. The Bills, Dolphins, Jets, Patriots, Bills have always kind of nagged each other a little bit. You know, Even though with Tom was around, Tom just could not win in Miami. You know, whatever it was, it doesn't matter who Miami had a quarterback. Just Tom, he just had a bugaboo in Miami, and he could never get past it. It was weird. It was Those very stupid strange. play I, calls, too. I never We're understood We're going to put Grunt back in cover three. Yeah. Prevent defense. Yeah, and then they burned him on the last <laughs> second play. I never understood stupid. how Tom just could not win in Miami. But every, you know what I'm saying, game is going to be tight, I feel like. You know what I'm saying, that when these guys play each other, except the Bills just get really hot one day, and they are in uh, yeah. press of offense to stop. Um. Signing Dalvin Cook's brother out of the, or drafting Dalvin Cook's brother in the, or his, his his cousin or his brother. I, don't know. I forgot there was a second round back. He's going to be big time for them. I feel like they still don't have a running back in Buffalo. Signing you know hey Isaiah McKenzie and you know hey Gabe Davis are both coming back. Talking about James Cook. James Cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Dalvin's brother. Okay, Dalvin's brother. I was correct. And then having a very good tight end up there. It must be nice being a family that that sort of talent just ain't it. The cup spilleth over, brother. <laughs> and like, ain't it though? Jeez. Like, oh, you know, uh, you know, having Dawson Knox up there, you know, he's probably the best tight end. Uh, you know, hey, outside of Mike G over here, I don't even know that we need um, to uh, waste hot air on this. Yeah, you Josh, hit the schedule. Josh Allen, good. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's you know what I'm saying to the whole Bills thing. Josh Allen, all pro. Hey, everybody else, very average. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> like, I don't know. It. I mean, well, yeah. let's talk about the very first game of the year here. Then this is going to be Bills at Rams. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Bills win. Hey, is that like a prime time game? It is eight twenty p.m. Uh, okay, but I said that that cannot be a one o'clock game. Can, <laughs> absolutely cannot be a one o'clock game. Bills win. I'll take the Rams. All right. Rams are going to be showed up as a <laughs> one and done. I don't think so. Titans at Bills. 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 Bills at Dolphins. Bills. Bills. Bills oh, at Ravens. Hey. Yeah, you keep it up with this. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Hold on, no, I keep up with how many I got. You, all right, yeah. Bills oh. at Ravens. Bills. Bills. So that's three. Steelers at Bills. Bills. Bills four. Bills at Chiefs. Bills. Bills team on the payback win. Yeah. Yeah, Bills are better, I think, at this point. Packers at Bills. 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 
Bills at Jets. Bills. Jets. Vikings at Bills, 1 p.m. Vikings. High scoring game. Uh, uh, Bills. Vikings. Browns at Bills. 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 Bills at Lions. This is Thanksgiving Day. Dude, I'm telling you right now, there's an upset coming. Lions are going to be scary this year. I'm going with Lions. All right. (laughs) Don't have it all. I'll take it. Yeah. Bills at Patriots. Bills. Bills 10. Jets at Bills. They split them, so Bills. Bills 11. Dolphins at Bills. 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 It ain't even close. Bills at Bears. Bills. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Bills at Bengals. Bengals. Bengals, yeah. That's uh, 8.30 p.m. for anyone who That's cares gonna be a great on January. That's going to be an amazing game. Oh, yeah, facts. Patriots at Bills is the last game. Bills. Bills. So, I got them going 13-3. And I got them going 14-2. Uh, two. Two. Yeah. No, three. Hey, 14 well, three. Yeah, I'm at 13-4. Sorry. Yeah. You got them 14 well, me, and me and you clearly have the Bills, and yeah. everybody else is going to win. I told you. I thought like the Jets could be second. Yeah. Like, I, like I said, I said this in, like, our very first segment. It's going to be the Bills, and everybody else, you know what I'm saying, is – Hey, 10 and 7, somewhere though in that win range outside mm-hmm. of the Dolphins, who Jason just have, had taken a meteoric nosedive. Um, that's going to be interesting, man. This hey, this group here is going to be, a, you know what I'm saying, a very a close one to watch. I feel like in the middle of the Buffalo doesn't carry it away handily, I believe. Can I just say this going out? Nope. I wasn't I, here to talk about Kirk last year. He's going to have an amazing season. I knew He's going to have an amazing Jesus. season. But yeah, I don't want to talk about Kirk other than oh. he's going to have an amazing season. What I do want to say is I feel like I love it so mm, much. Kirk Cousins. Purple and gold. Actually, That's almost can, exactly what Brandon said you were going to uh, say. <laughs> could you hit the uh, yeah, the, verbatim. the burp, 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 the sad music? Oh, you mean taps? Yep, taps. Yep. How would, do you I not would, know that? I mean, I mean, I mean, three of us. You should be the one that knows it. Yeah. Is it just me, or do I? Do you feel like that beautiful red, gold, and white flag of Kansas City, which my son loves, is on the road to fading away? Well, define fading away. I feel like that if Quickly scaling fading away. 10 win season this year, any fr- like 90% of the NFL that would count that as a huge, huge win. But um, it's not the end. No, it's not for Kansas and City. And I think Pat's on his way out the door two years later. I don't think – no, I don't think that. I think the Tyreek Hill – honestly, trading the Tyreek for five first-round picks was a phenomenal job though, by Kansas City's front office staff. I feel like he can use those picks and rebuild, having Marquez – Scantling there, though, was a number two, and Juju was your one, who's a great blocker downfield. You know, hey, opening things up there for Clyde, that was a lair. I don't think they're going away, bro. I really don't. Herbert, Carr, you know what I'm saying, they had to play Russ. That's going to be that's gonna be tough, though, for them. Kelsey's on his way out <clears throat> in a few years. He's north of 30. I'll yeah. say that, so that's not uh, very good. Next week's show, how you want to do this? The top five teams? What? Uh, oh, go ahead and do that, and then we st- I still have something to ask you before we go. Okay. Um. Hey, t- um. Uh, next week's show, how you want to do this? Like top five players, you know, who are going to have a down year, top five going up, or do you want to do teams doing that? Or both? Why don't I, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's fine. Okay, fair yeah. enough. All right, so before we go out to break, because when we come back, we're going to do a Whopper or something. Yep. something, something I knew something, I smelled a Whopper. <laughs> yeah, for um, sure. I know what it smells like. So before we go to break, though, somebody you bring back from the Dolphins? No, yeah, Dan Marino. Next question. Yeah, Dan. I mean, somebody you bring back from the Bills. OJ Simpson, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> well, they need a run, they need a running back. They yeah. got a good one in OJ. If we yeah. just keep him out the kitchen, I was gonna say, how about one without an ankle bracelet? Go ahead, uh, uh, Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly. <laughs> no, I mean, that's an easy one. Right. Hey, hey, real quick, you know, Jim Kelly. You know, he lost multiple Super Bowls in a row. Dan got back to one. Joe won one, and Tom won six. That's why he's the greatest, folks. Crazy stats. I hate that guy. It's a great division. Yeah, we'll Thank right you, back. Vanco Outdoor yep. Power Equipment, for sponsoring this hour here at Third Nate Next Door Radio, nextdoorradio.com. Don't forget to check out our website at thirdnate.com for that flashy new shirt that says, If my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. Because it's for sale. I'm just saying, hey, let us know what your thoughts are on the uh, AFC East and how you think it's going to stack up. Were we close? Were we far off, Brandon? Yep. Hey, real quick, Panther fans. Y'all have done some good things in the offseason. I just want to get that off my breast assistant. My chest is here. Y'all have done some nice things in the offseason. But please, though, for the love of God, tamper your expectations all time. Y'all going to be Arby Baker. Just tamper the expectations. See you next week. I'll let you boy. Mm. See you next segment, player. Love you, Kirk. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Giannis stuff because you stayed home and won the title in Milwaukee. Walker. Then when y'all was praising LeBron James stuff for going across town to Miami to win the title in 2010, going back to back with Boston Wade. <laughs> no need to rush. There's plenty more show left. Let's get back to it. Hey guys, welcome back here to Third Nate on Next Door Radio, Next Door Radio what? Dot com, guys. Dot com. Uh, this week on review is uh, hey, what's this again, Chris? The Southwest Bacon Avocado Burger from Burger Southwest King. Southwest Bacon Whopper from Burger King okay. with avocado. With okay, avocado. See, okay, oh, see, really? As seen across the bottom. It. Yeah. Ta da. Ugh. Oh, yeah, appreciate you coming Did they up. really put avocado on it? I guess you're about to find out, partner. So, me and Jason are going to split this burger in halves. He's over here. And, uh, Jeez. To start off this, you know what I'm saying, the review, this burger by itself, no cold fries, no stale Coca Cola, <laughs> no, yeah. was $8 for uh-huh. yeah, a burger. Trash. Yeah, that's trash. For, that's six and a half to McDouble's because if you want to do the McDonald's math on this, actually, you're going to have probably five <laughs> and a half out of inflation. <laughs> you have to do the McMath on this. Anyway, hey, $8 for one burger, it better be worth $8, but I don't have high hopes. I, All right. I would. You want to party with this bad, Larry, and fire there. away or what? Get you some music back there at the end of yeah. this thing. Here we go. Boy, I'm gonna look funny, bald. Just look. Can you picture it? Look at it. Look oh, at him here. Just gonna let that be. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Fester. <laughs> well, Fester up some courage and eat that thing. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. All right, so Brandon got a little chew going on here. Now, Brandon, did you get any any bits of the avocado? I do see avocado. It looks like little thin slices of avocado on there. So it looks like a standard Whopper. I got some uh, some slivers of onion there. It looks like some uh, mm. tomato and lettuce. You want to know what this is? Slices of avocado. Can I sum this burger up for you? Uh oh. Well, Brandon's going pretty good on like it. Like a so. sentence. Are you ready? Really good marketing because all this is is a whopper. Huh? We just paid two to three more dollars than what we'd have paid for the whopper for the whopper burger cream. You smart. So let me tell you what it says here. It says it is a quarter pound of flame grilled beef with avocado spread, crispy bacon, seasoned tortilla strips. There's some tortilla strips in there somewhere, supposedly. Mm-hmm. American cheese, crisp lettuce, sliced white onions, which I tell you what, with the crisp lettuce, they are <laughs> making some promises they might not be able to fulfill. Oh, uh, sliced white onions, juicy tomatoes, yet again, words I would be careful with, and creamy, spicy sauce on a toasted sesame seed bun. Okay. That is what you have there. I take it back. Now that I'm halfway in, I got a hold of those uh, avocado and tortilla chips. You seem disgusted. It's like eating a taco on a burger. Oh, okay. I don't know that that goes together, but I can't say that it don't. I'm stuck somewhere in the upside down on this thing. (laughs) Somebody play running up that hill. So that I can get out of here. <laughs> I ain't running no damn where. Yeah, we can't afford the uh, oh, the, sorry, Chris, the royalties on that. I liked it. I mean, obviously, I mean, I you know, it's gone. It goes mine. Um, did you even taste it? Barely. I uh, know. I feel like Jason's pretty spot on. It almost tastes like a regular Whopper. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Until you hit the avocado spread and chips. Um. So are they like little? Is it like Fritos almost strips or what? What kind of strips are we talking about? It's crunchy. It don't have as much flavor as Fritos. Right, is, but I mean, is it? But is it like the same? Like, is it like one of those little wavy no. strips? Thing? It doesn't feel like an it's in your mouth. It's literally like know. somebody took a, a hard taco, uh-huh. crunched crunch it, it up, strips? put it on Smashed there, smashed that mug oh. on there. Yeah, oh. that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty accurate. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad though. Now, Jason, do you typically like avocado? No, I'm trying to find the reason to not like this. Oh, but I can't. Wow. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm thoroughly impressed at Burger King. It is not. You know, I'm going to be real with you. Write this down. So it looks like it's an avocado spread. By it is. The way. Okay. It is. I actually so, like avocado. I've done did 180 on this thing because when I first bit into it, I was like, man, this is a Whopper. Great marketing because it's just a Whopper. Now that I'm into it, we stopped by Burger King on the way to the show and said, we're going to get this burger. And to be full disclosure, Brandon goes, hey, man, you want to get one of these or you just want to split one? I was like, yeah, this ain't going to be good. Let's just split one. Yep. <laughs> hey, we might be making at... a stop on the way back to the house. All right, yeah, the next one's on wow. you then. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> for realsies. Yeah, no, you gotta fine. remember, you're not just paying for a whopper now. You're paying for a whopper and a taco and an experience. Yes, yeah, a whopper and an experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. not bad though. If I had it rated, I'd give it a solid eight, eight and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have wow. no qualms giving it eight and a half. Um, I'm gonna give our viewers a little uh, image there behind you here in just a second with with what this thing actually looks like. Well. With what Burger King wants you to think it looks like. That's any of them. It's not just Burger King. So, you do get 
the original Whopper taste, that flame bull grill, whatever. And boy, this onion is strong with a capital mm-hmm. S. My God. Good fresh like onions. Onion, it's same old, same old Burger King lettuce, which is nobody likes lettuce anyway, so we don't care that it's three days old. I agree. It's just wet grass. And the cheese is good. The mayonnaise is good. Then they hit you with the hot sauce from the taco. And it's not even hot sauce. So what would you describe that as? I don't know. It's like it's a little heat, but not really. It's it's just no. You know how they knew it's like you know, it's not regular ketchup or something. It's pretty good. It just says creamy, spicy sauce. So I'd imagine it's some sort of mix with mayonnaise and ketchup and something. You know what Maybe this I don't is? Know. When you used to take your sandwiches at home and mash the chips and on mash there. the chips onto it. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way to eat a sandwich after a pool party. With taco something. seasoning, we huh. figured it out. Yeah, we got their secret recipe right yep. here on Third Night. Yep. Yeah, they know nothing. You gave it a what? and spices here. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I said an eight, eight and a half. Now, there is a nice little note right here, by the way. It says, warning, sodium content of this item is higher than the total daily recommended limit. <laughs> it's probably good that we split that burger in half, Jay. Good gosh. So, how's your blood pressure? Six fifty. <laughs> so, one of those is 860 calories. Okay. So, not bad. Mm-hmm. So you each just had, you know, 430. Not bad. Look, yeah. here's the deal. It is bad when the 430 don't do nearly enough to fill you up. <laughs> no. So, here's the deal. Um, okay, tell me. I would give it. Here's my problem with it, right? Because I was looking for a reason not to like it. Here, here I, fig- I fig- okay, figured it found. out. Yeah, it took you six it minutes. It doesn't ahead. have an identity. It is kind of flip-flopping. My all mouth is like, am I eating a taco? Am I eating a Whopper? It's a 20-year-old college. Student. I like both of them. They even all right together. I just don't know that they should be together. You know, you're cute, but it's an unhealthy relationship. <laughs> you feel me? You see what I'm saying? It's like that's. Yeah, I've had a lot of one of those. <laughs> so a lot of one. Yeah. This is what I would say. I think for some reason, even though I know that's a whopper in there, the the added taco takes a little bit away from that whopper experience. And the Whopper takes a little bit away from that crunchy taco experience. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 6.75. That is the first three quarters. Yeah, I about to say, that's really, you we know, have ever received. Solid no. there, Jay. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I figure like on my back, I'm back from vacation now. Um, I'm all hyped up. And so I'm going to I'm going I'm going to be very accurate. <laughs> All right, I'll give it an 8.1250. No. <laughs> I ain't going daddy bit of math. I'll stick pie, with eight, 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 eight and pie, homeboy. Eight and pie. All right. Eight, no, seven, yeah, like 6.75. 3.14, I think is what the pie is. Sweet Lord Repeat it. Thing. All right, so uh, also in front of you. Now, yeah, last week we did one, these yeah. little Quest cookies, and they yep. were the Quest chocolate brownie cookies or something yeah. like that. These are the Quest birthday cake cookies. So I'd like All you right. guys to just finish off the meal with that nice little dessert there. It's kind of light. It's much lighter than the last one. Once more. Yeah, it is. There is an identity crisis here. I disagree. Is I it a birthday delicious. cake? It is. Is it a cookie? It's a birthday cake Is this cookie. one of your keto diet things? Yeah. It is. And it's deli- and he's going to follow it over to Mountain Dew. <laughs> High octane. As God intended. <laughs> now, I saw Jason had it at his house. I could steal. <laughs> okay. Can we be honest? Sure. I think it's delicious. The um the icing, uh huh. That's the best part. Or whatever that is, that's busting, busting. Isn't it, it always <laughs> good? Facts be sweet. Who me or icing? <laughs> Both. Okay. <laughs> Ding. Dang it! But the cookie itself very soft. Um, and at first it's very appealing. Uh huh. But Who the, the but the no. tail end of it is a little cardboardy to me. It's huh. protein. It's gonna be. All right, um, so what would you give that as as far as health desserts or health, health desserts. protein? How healthy st- is it? Like, honestly, I don't know. How uh, healthy is it? I'd have to – I can pull some some specs real quick on it. Can it do something with a second chin of mine? <laughs> Eventually. No. If and you so don't have 20 Jason of them a day. Had the, uh, well, and never mind. <laughs> he, had, he had the audacity to ask Chris uh, before the show if he could erase the second chin. <laughs> Look at I that told him no because if so, he'd have done it three or four years ago to help me out. <laughs> Look, gobble, 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 yeah. gobble. You know what I mean? I Stuff I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Know, you know when I discovered this? When my barber shaved off half my beard. <laughs> you know so here I, I am. Mine? <laughs> like, I agree. I grew one of these. <laughs> I might need to start keto now that I'm yeah. looking at myself in a monitor talking about, you have how many? 
Jesus Christ, fatty. How's it feel? <laughs> How many chins is Welcome over there? to the club. <laughs> Does it really move like that when I talk? There's no more Jeez. room in this club, Jason. It's full. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what uh, we got here. All right, so one of those I'm just playing. Uh, has one gram of carbs, <laughs> five grams of protein, three, gam- three grams of fiber. So how many of those can I legally have a day under the keto diet rules? Uh, oh, I'm going to say it's America, the whole box if you want some, but <laughs> yeah, I understand I mean, what you're saying. Right. I mean, I wouldn't have, you know, I think two is respectable. Yeah. Two? Yes, yeah, one is that. like a mid-morning snack and one after dinner yeah. that'll well, lead you into bed. Well, Jason, is that for real, well, though? Jason, you also have to remember the whole point is to try to Eat not less. gorge yourself. So that one of those is 90. So if this is all you ate, I mean, it's 90 calories, uh, technically 10 carbohydrates minus three You can have like 19 of these meals a day, six sugar alcohols. Yeah, you, you could have, you know, t- 10 of them maybe, I don't know. Um, if your whole daily diet just needed to consist of these cookies, if you kept it to like 12, I think you'd be solid. But I will warn you, if you have that many sugar alcohols in one day, um, your stomach will hate you. <laughs> so here's <laughs> just my... Just give you the warning. I'm just going to be real. I eat about six packs of those zebra cupcakes every day. Other yeah, zebra cupcakes you every understand day? What, never mind. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, where my second chance come from? Boy, you blaming the barber. It's your poor guy. <laughs> yeah, you over here blaming the barber. I don't think it's the barber. I think well, it's I'm just saying it was... Zebra zebra all I'm saying it was hit before, and I couldn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm know? just saying, little Debbie might be who you want to blame on that. Here, but anyway, go ahead. We ain't blaming her. We ain't little Debbie shaming on my show. <laughs> Big so let me is. ask you a question. <laughs> oh, Big uh-huh. Debbie. If, if I ate one or two zebra cookies a day okay, versus those two cookies a day, because I'm really cutting down my sugar now, right, from like literally. Not with the zebra cookies. But you are because I eat like six packs of them. You can't. I mean, you can have anything How many moderation? of you can really... That's Real fair. question. Go on, fa- go on Facebook and answer this question. How many of you have the willpower to only have one pack of zebra cookies? Just one pack or like one? Like one box. pack. One out of the pack? <laughs> like one pack. Okay, a pack of two. Yeah. I mean, I can just eat one and walk away. Whatever, I dude. I, back. I just said like right then I could eat one and walk away. Now, yeah, for like as long minutes. as it takes me to chew it up. Yeah, fair enough. Carry us out. Fatty. Anyways, no. I'm gonna t- 380 I'm calories in a single zebra cake. By the way, but go ahead. One cake. <laughs> one cake. Oh God, no. that explains 55 it. 55 grams of carbs. 380 90 calories. To 600 out, 380 grams of deliciousness. Thank you, Vanco Outdoor Power Equipment, for sponsoring this South Third and Eight. See you next time. Same place, same place. Same time. Same time. We'll be back. This has been an American Pod Talk production. For more content, please visit us online at www.americanpodtalk.com.